This is BM Beauty Forever. I'm Morgan. And I'm Brittany. And today we did a look on Morgan's beautiful sister, Lindsay. Say hi, Lindsay. Hello. Okay, so to, for this video, I did the eyes and Morgan did um, the face, contouring, lips, and eyebrows. Basically, this is just a really good springtime look. That's why we wanted to incorporate like a bunch of colors. So we have like yellows, oranges, reds, blues, greens, and you can definitely tone it down. It's it's very daring. So like if, yeah, I don't know. This is like a this is like a look you like we would wear it out, but like <laughs> you viewers out there might not want to wear this kind of look out. So you can incorporate some of the things that we did and just do them your own way. So if you just want to do like a blue liner or a green or like orange on your eyes or something like that, but. This is just what we thought would be a good spring tutorial. Very colorful, very, yeah, <laughs> crazy. So, um, like, I just feel like I have to mention this. We were just practicing on my eyes. I know it looks oh. bad. <laughs> okay. Experimentation. Okay. Experimentation. This is not how I would normally wear my makeup. Like, one's different and then, yeah. So, okay, anyways, here's our video. Okay, so I'm going to start by using a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil to prime her eyes. This one is, this one is 604 Milk. It's just white. Okay, so I don't know, I mean something happened to the camera really quick just to explain. So I don't know if I already told you this, but I put this yellow color um, over the sparkly um, stage light color just to make it a little more vibrant. Next I'm just going to be using this orange from the same palette, the Shani palette. And I'm just going to blend it into that all the way out to where her eye ends. Okay, next I'm gonna be using um, just a little palette from Claire's and it's just an orange color in it. So, just to vibrant, make it a little more vibrant, right over where we just placed the other one. So back to Shani Cosmetics, I'm just going to be using this really pretty, bright, vibrant pink here and I'm going to be blending it right into the orange we just put on. Now using the color right next to that, it's um, this, it's a little more purpley-ish, it's still pink. I'm just going to blend it right into that color. So we're just continuing to blend out and out, layering the colors. All right, now the last color for this eye we're going to be using on the very end, it's the red. Just the red in this palette. Okay, now for the very top, I'm just going to be, um, you might want to clean your brush because it's going to be really colorful at this point. <laughs> I consider cleaning your brush just wiping it on your arm. But um, I'm just going to use the white color and I'm going to put it on the very top of her brow bone. All right, so it's just like this navy blue color, very powdery, same thing. Now, I'm just gonna be applying this right underneath her eye, as close to her waterline as possible, but enough so you can still see it. I mean, it's pretty colors. You might wanna blow your brush out a little bit because it will get all in her eye if you don't. Bring it about halfway. And now we're gonna blend into that, um, this pretty green I have. If you want, you can come back and take your jumbo eye pencil, the same one, the milk one, and just put it right here so it makes the colors just a slight bit more vibrant. For this, I am going to be using Runway Eyes. This is Milani. And I'm gonna be using the green in this palette. Taking my detail brush again, just stipple it on. Alright, now for just a tiny bit more vibrant look, I'm going to take my Shani Cosmetics palette again and just take the darkest green in it. So if you can't see this, yeah, just the darkest green, you'll see which one. And then just go right over where we just went. For eyeliner, I'm sorry, I have bad eyes. This is Blue Divine from Giordano. Is that how you pronounce it? 
<laughs> okay. Well, pretty much any blue eyeliner. I know their Romel one is really good too. Okay, well, you'll see it when it's on. Yay. Alright, last but not least, I'm gonna be putting on some. <laughs> Sorry about that. And I'm putting on some Lash Fast Volume from CoverGirl. And it's just in this orange bottle. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll take a picture and put it up later. And I'll also put um, all the items used in the description box. Alright, you can take the tape off at this point. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, now look up, Lindsay. And just put the eyeliner on, I mean, um, mascara on the bottom. So that's your finished look um, for the eyes, and Morgan's going to take over now for lips and face, so I present to you Morgan. Alright, hey guys, it's Morgan, and I'm going to do her face, so first off, I'm going to do a light contour. I've already done her other side. Um, I haven't done all over face powder, but I've done contour and blush, so I'm just going to start out with Hula Bronzer, and I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush, because I don't like using narrow brushes, because it can look not like a natural contour, and if you use a fluffier brush, then you can get a more natural looking contour. So Lindsay, can you suck in your face a little bit for me? And I'm just going to go along the hollows of her cheeks and I'm going to take it up along her hairline and then I'm just going to go up under her jawline. And then I'm going to go in with a Stila convertible lip color that I showed in one of my favorites videos that I just put up. And it is in the color Petunia and I'm just going to use this on her cheeks like so, and I'm gonna use my hands because that gives you the more natural finish. And I'm just gonna blend this upwards to um, the temples of her cheeks. All right, next I'm gonna take High Beam by Benefit, and I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the back of my hand, just like that. And then I'm just gonna pat it along her cheek line. And I'm just gonna take a foundation blush brush to blend that out. And this is just gonna give her a nice highlight to her face. And the only reason you're not seeing um, foundation in this video is because we already did it just to keep the, length, the video shorter. But if you want a foundation um, tutorial, just let us know in the comment box below. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more blush just to blend in with the highlight that I just put on. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation Powder. And then I'm going to take an Estee Lauder powder brush and I'm just going to lightly dust this over her face. And this also has a lot of coverage without making it look cakey. And Lindsay doesn't need a lot of coverage because, again, we already put a light layer of foundation on. And she already has good skin, just a few blemishes here and there. Alright, and then the last thing that I'm going to do with her is I'm going to, as far as the face goes, is I'm going to do her eyebrows. Um, to get a good color combo, I just wanted my Naked 2 palette, and I'm mixing the two colors, Foxy and T. So I'm going to go with T, Foxy, and just go in between. And then I'm just going to go into her eyebrows. As far as lips go, I'm going to use two things. I'm going to go back in with that Stila convertible lip color that I use because you can use it for lips and cheeks. And Lindsay, if you'll look at me please and to open your mouth. I'm just going to go on with her lips like this. And I, the reason I chose this color is because it's not too bright. It's like a, it gives you like a natural looking color, but it's like a really pretty pink. And it also matches her blush, so it's not going to be too much in the end. I'm going to take a Buxom lip gloss in the color Creamsicle, and I'm just going to go over that. And you guys, again, saw this in my favorites video that I just put up. These are my favorite lip glosses, and I'm just going to put a little bit on her and have her rub her lips. Here we have our finished look complete. If you guys liked the video, then like down below and comment below for any tutorials or things that you might like. I hope you guys enjoyed our springtime video. Yeah, so please subscribe. Please click subscribe. That would just make our lives. We're trying to get more subscribers and I don't know why when I say that word it always sounds so weird. Subscribers. Subscribers. Subscribe to our channel. Or you'll die. I'm just kidding, you will die. <laughs> but subscribe to our channel and like it down below and share it with your friends and your grandma and your dog and your cat and your goldfish. It's so <laughs> just share it with everybody you know. People, plants, things, I don't care. Share it and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Oh, and come back. Come back and watch our next video because you're going to like it. Of course you will.